Good morning, everybody. Um, so, yeah, as Courtney said, she works with me at Web Junto, and um, it, it's very interesting to me um, to be in the position that I'm in today because four years ago, I couldn't find a job. Um, I interviewed at a whole bunch of different places, and it was probably one of the most frustrating and debilitating times of my life. Um, having my team be behind me uh, in diversity and inclusion is, is a very important thing to me personally um, because it, it frustrates me every time that I have to, to say how difficult it is to be a, a woman in tech or a person of color in tech, but a lot of people make a lot of assumptions when they see me. Um, and something that's been really exciting for me has been uh, the ability to build a team of awesome people who believe in the same things that I believe in. Actually, um, this photograph is just from a few weeks ago. Uh, we found out that we got nominated as uh, Best Tech Workplace for Diversity. Um, we didn't think at all that we had any kind of chance of winning. And we made it to the top 10 finalists. Um, once we showed up at the event thinking, oh, we're just gonna be here for the announcement and then leave, we actually ended up winning the award. Um, which, you know, it was, it was completely shocking. Several of us were almost in tears uh, because of it. And uh, it was really awesome to me to have my team members uh, standing there behind me. But one of the reasons why tech, um, tech inclusion is so important to me personally is, is because I wasn't able to find a job, even with two master's degrees, uh, about 15 years on and off of coding and freelancing for years. Um, just no place was willing to, to give me that opportunity. Um, and even though we've been able to create a really awesome environment in our office, I still have to deal with a lot of BS like this example right here. If I can get it to come up. Um, so I saw this tweet uh, a few weeks ago, um, and she goes, somebody came up to her and said, where do you work? She goes, Shippo, we do shipping tech. Let's see if it goes. Uh, I think I've met your CEO before, but I'm the CEO. <laughs> and I go through this all of the time as a woman of tech and as a person of color in tech. Um, and so <laughs> hashtag female founders is a very frustrating thing to me. Um, apparently 1.6 thousand people thought this was really interesting as well. Um, many of us followed up in the comments talking about how, how this happens to us every day as female founders. Um, but seriously, it's not that complicated. Um, I'm not bossy, I'm the boss. And I hate having to repeat myself, but it happens to me all the time when I meet someone new and they ask me, so where do you work? <laughs> and I say, oh, I have a company called Web Junto. And then they say to me, oh, but, but what do you do there? <laughs> and I'm just like, I, it's my company. Um, and they, they'll have to do another double take. And it's probably one of the most frustrating things that I continue to deal with, even though I've been able to create this awesome and vibrant, um, diverse environment inside of my office. So I wanna tell you guys about something that, um, that affects all of us. Um, I don't know if anyone here has heard of the waterline of visibility, but uh, this is an iceberg, <laughs> in case you can't tell. And um, there's this theory of diversity um, compared to an iceberg. So the tip of the iceberg is that when most people think of diversity, they focus on what, you, what they can see, what's visible at the tip. Things like age, race, language, and gender expression. Those are things that you can pretty quickly guess about someone. Um, but in reality, uh, what makes us who we are is a combination of what you can see and what's lying beneath the waterline. Um, things like your physical abilities, your religion, your family, your gender identity, your experiences, your educational background, your social class, uh, your ethnicity, and your personal values and beliefs. 
Um, so I wanna tell you a little bit about what's below my waterline, an example. So I'm a woman, I speak American English, I'm in my early 30s, and I'm racially ambiguous, which is probably the most uh, frustrating thing for me. Uh, a lot of people think I'm from all kinds of different places. Um, so let's talk about what's below my waterline. I have runner's knee, so <laughs> that sometimes stops me from being able to do certain things. I have two master's degrees. I've been coding for 15 plus years. I studied two years of Chinese. Um, I'm half Greek, I'm Irish, African American, and Native American, so no longer racially ambiguous to all of you, now you know. <laughs> uh, and I also identify as a lesbian, and I'm a US Air Force veteran. Thank you. So I wanted to give all of you just a quick opportunity to, to kind of take a moment and remember a time when someone made an assumption about you. And you know, just think about what that felt like. Um, so now, turn to the person next to you and share two things that someone would not know just by looking at you. I'm gonna give you guys like, like two minutes to do that. Go for it. I see some people not doing it. Go ahead, give it a shot. So, how many people learned something surprising about somebody else? Okay, I see a lot of hands. It's great, that's kind of the point. Um, so more often than not, we jump to conclusions about someone based on their appearance. Um, and when we do that, we're inviting opportunities for exclusion to enter our lives. Um, so, you know, it's natural to make assumptions when you first see someone. But we should all take, uh, take the time to challenge ourselves to go, uh, to look beyond what we can see. Um, because diversity is not something that's just skin deep. It's, it's, it's a part of what makes us each unique as individuals. Um, and diversity begins with you. Um, and it's maintained through inclusion. Um, in conclusion, in conclusion um, <laughs> inclusion can begin with you. Um, so I, I want you to be able to take that away from, from this. I, I know it's like a, a very quick example, but um, next time you meet someone, don't just jump to conclusions. Next time you, uh, you have an opportunity to, to talk to somebody a little bit more and learn something about them, I highly encourage you to do that because not only will it make a difference in your life, but it makes a major difference in that person's life. Um, diversity is not just a thing um, that makes us operate better as companies. Um, it also allows us to, to learn a little bit more about ourselves. So that's, that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. So thank you very much. <laughs>